Are you a successful service professional who wants to drive more leads, clients, connections, and cash to your business sooner versus later? If you're nodding your head yes, great news. That's exactly what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the wild, wild west of podcast guesting and how you can stake your claim to raise your voice, make your impact, and make money every step of the way. My name is Nancy Judden. I'm a podcast guesting expert, and I make it a regular habit to book myself on two or more shows every single week. And as a result of that, I'm being seen, heard, celebrated, and ultimately compensated for my winning ways and driving a rush of leads, clients, connections, and cash to my own service-based business. I would like to have this time that we have together to be an opportunity for you to have your eyes made wide open about this upside that you can welcome when you decide to make podcast guesting your number one favorite visibility strategy. So let's get on with the show. I'm going to share some slides with you and we'll get this party started. Podcast guesting for good and profit. Do I have your attention? If you want to generate inbound client inquiries, qualified leads, and sales to advance your successful service-based business, this next few minutes that we spend together are going to be very, very fruitful. Before we start, I want you to stop for a moment and set your intention. I say this to all of my clients. I say this to myself every single day. My work deserves a much bigger audience. My business is worthy of sales beyond expectations, and the time for these results is right now. Not someday, not next week, not next year, right now. How you do anything is how you do everything. So if you set the intention that your work is worthy of a much wider audience and your business is worthy of sales beyond expectations, you know what? What you think about, you bring about. And that mindset shift that you make starting right now can be a game changer as you put into practice the practical, tactical steps I'm going to share with you as we get on with this training right now. I grew up in Southern California, and my dad was an actor in Hollywood. You might think that sounds really glamorous, but in actual fact, it wasn't glamorous at all. My dad would get himself all worked up to go on interviews and auditions to portray roles in movies, television, commercials, and whatnot. Every time he'd get all excited about it, he'd go out to perform, he'd think he nailed it, and then he'd come home and wait for the phone to ring. We'd all wait for the phone to ring. We'd pray that the phone would ring because the only way that he would get an opportunity to make a living is if someone gave him permission to take a role with that show. As you can well imagine, there were some big wins, but there were also months and months and sometimes years of incredible financial pressure and scarcity. And as a kid growing up in status conscious Southern California, it was really tough to see the other kids driving around with their parents and their new cars and their fancy pretty clothes. And we were just trying to pull enough money together and coupons to buy groceries for our shopping cart and not the delicious groceries that we wanted, but the stuff that we could afford. I think growing up in that kind of a feast or famine scenario had me realize very early on that I didn't want to be beholden to a casting director to determine whether or not I could make my way in the world. I was going to find a way to speak up, share my message, and have control over my economic destiny. And so that's what I do today, and that's what I do to train all of my clients to do the same, because if you want to speak more, you can speak more. You can create an amazing rush of, of demand for your products, programs, and services by speaking more, by sharing your story with more of the right people who need to hear it. You can attract leads, connections, clients, collaborations, and cash. These benefits are all just one speaking gig away, whether it's live or virtual. One podcast, one broadcast, one television show, one live video that you deliver to your Facebook group. If you make speaking up your primary visibility strategy, I promise you, you will always have control over your upside. And in this day and age where we're suffering from sheltering in place and not knowing when we're gonna be able to go freely about in the world because of COVID-19 and the after effects of it, I find that incredibly empowering and I hope that you do too. So let's take a poll. 
as you're watching this, type in the chat, number one, I know visibility and, and podcast guesting is where I should be playing and I can't wait to learn more. Put one in the chat. Two is I'm curious, but skeptical. That's number two. And three is I always am interested in learning new things. Maybe you'll turn my head. Go ahead and post in the chat and we'll come back to the poll a little bit later. I hope that as you watch today, you put yourself in the number one bucket. My promise for you today is that you will learn the opportunity you have to speak up on more of the right shows and you'll be inspired to do it right away. That you will appreciate the value of being media ready, media savvy and on message as a direct result of what I share with you today. I'm also going to inspire you to create a media one sheet right away so you can start pitching yourself. And I'm also going to share one of the things that you may not have ever considered that can make the biggest difference and has nothing to do with the podcast guest spot at all. So with that said, let's keep going. You're probably wondering, do I want to invest time to listen to this? Well, Jen Evers attended a very similar session and she wrote me such a lovely thank you note that I wanted to share it right out of the gate. I want to say a huge thank you note to Nancy Jutton. After attending her session about how to boost my podcast presence and confidence and authenticity, I've since booked myself on over 13 shows. That session with Nancy was just over a few weeks ago. Is your mind blown? Because mine is on my way to visibility with so much confidence. Jen is one of thousands of people who have taken this training and welcomed those kinds of results. And today's your lucky day because you get to do it too. My big overarching idea is a very simple one. If you want to speak more, speak more. It's just that simple. There are three ways you can speak up. You can speak up to your own community from your Facebook page, from your Facebook group, from a Zoom video you record and share with your newsletter list. So many opportunities to speak up live. Maybe it's LinkedIn Live. You can speak up to your own community and I suggest you make that a well-formed habit by doing a live show every single week. You can also speak up on other people's stages, other people's mastermind groups, other people's Facebook lives, other people's live and virtual events. If you have something to add to a conversation that is complimentary and not competitive, there's millions and millions of opportunities for you to partner with others where your expertise would be a blessing that would make whatever was planned even stronger. And the third way that you can speak up is on podcasts and broadcasts that are right for your message. If you think of each of these three bullets as a leg on a three-legged stool, and you work all three legs of that stool equally, you will have a very solid foundation through which to generate opportunities to speak up, share your message, raise your voice, make your impact and make money every step of the way. If you're someone who doesn't like funnels and wants it not to be so technical and not so complicated, but you can simply speak up, look at the camera and deliver your message, speaking can be your new best friend provided you make it a well-formed, consistent habit and you put your heart and soul into it every single day. Anything that you do regularly and consistently will deliver results. So make the decision that this is your favorite visibility strategy and you will be off to the races in no time. If you truly wanna be successful, I want you to get ready for these big opportunities and be the expert that gets booked consistently. That means that you're gonna stop winging it that you're gonna get ready to play big and you're gonna believe and behave as if the result was already real. So many people that I work with throughout all the years that I've been doing business, over 20, I might add, people say, oh yeah, I'm gonna get on Oprah someday. One of these days I'm gonna get my act together. One of these days I'm gonna finally get serious about sharing my message with more people so that I can leverage and grow my business. But if we've learned anything in the last 18 months or so is that tomorrow is not a promise. There could be some crazy random thing that happens that changes the game for everyone. But the beautiful thing about speaking is that we can speak up without leaving home and without even having to hire an expensive booking agency if we just know what to do. And that's what today's training is all about. I want you to have control over your economic destiny. That means being ready for the big opportunities before they knock because if you are ready, you can leapfrog over other people less prepared and be the one that takes the spotlight, inspires the audience and creates 
a ready flow of new fans and followers who can't wait to work with you. If you want that, put a yes in the chat and say, I'm ready for that. I want that. Nancy, show me the way. So speaking of the way, what is your favorite way to serve? What do your clients wisely invest into to benefit from how you help? If you want to monetize, you have to start with the end in mind. So what do you deliver? Is it professional services? Do you sell your book individually or in large quantities? Do you provide group training or speaking, VIP days, semi-private coaching, private coaching? Do you lead a Facebook group? What is the thing that you do that is brilliant for you that also, oh, by the way, paves the fastest path to the cash? If you keep your eye on that big outcome, you'll be in an excellent position to monetize when you take to the microphone. This is one of my favorite parts of this presentation where we get to do the math and make it pay. So let's get started in a very conservative way. Let's just imagine for a moment that you book yourself on 20 podcasts in the next calendar year. And one client from every podcast was so intoxicated by the way you shared your message, who you showed up to be during the conversation, and the problem that you solved that they eagerly want to address in their own life or work to the point that they wanted to get on the phone with you to have a consultation. And that consultation turned into a new engagement. Well, if the average value of a client for you and your business is $5,000, you can easily see that those 20 podcast episodes could turn into $100,000 for you in your business or something better. Hopefully that just makes the case that this is something that's worth doing. So now you're probably wondering, why podcast guesting? Why should I do it? Why? Because it's a very accessible medium for a shelter in place world, which many of us find ourselves in right about now. Did you know that there are 2.3 million podcasts on the air today, according to Listen Notes, and new, new ones are joining every single day? A lot of these shows have hosts that are looking for experts just like you. The active shows that have been in production for a while have embedded audiences of subscribers that are already listening as a steady habit and can't wait to hear who's coming next. When you are a guest on a show like that, the halo of credibility that resides with the host gets extended to you and all of a sudden your star shines brighter and there are actually people listening and paying attention who can benefit from how you help. These shows reside online forever indefinitely. And why does that matter? Several reasons. Number one is nobody does business with anybody without doing their due diligence. So if someone were to Google your name today, would they find 20 or 30 or 50 or 100 podcast episodes where you were showing up in your brilliant best, delivering value, creating connection, creating no like trust, and having people feel like you really are that expert that you portray yourself to be? If so, when those people reach out to you to want to do business, they come to you pre-sold, ready to dig in and do more business, as opposed to having a cold call. That's a win for both sides. Another benefit is that when you show up brilliantly on a podcast or a broadcast or a live video or whatever the case may be, people get to experience the value you bring. And they will say to themselves, wow, that was a fantastic episode. I have a show. I need an expert just like that. And what do you know? Invitations start coming to you to contribute to those shows without you even having to pitch. That's one of the parts about this that I like the best. The other thing about podcast guesting is people who invest time listening to podcasts care about learning more to earn more. And people who learn more to earn more have the discretion to wisely invest in their professional education or services or programs or products that solve their urgent needs. It's been said that people who are on LinkedIn make twenty dollars to $30,000 more than people who actively participate on Facebook. Well, there's some research outfit out there that would say the same thing about people who listen to podcasts. People who listen to podcasts care about learning more and earning more, and that is an excellent environment for you to be showing up within so that people can learn more and earn more at the feet of your wisdom. 
Another brilliant benefit of podcast guesting is that you don't have to pay to be on shows. You don't even have to hire an expensive booking agency to get booked on shows, provided you follow the steps that I'm going to teach you today. And I think that given that people have to be very careful about how they apply their discretionary dollars to support their success, this is, again, one very, very empowering aspect of podcast guesting that I think is just really, really exciting. So as a result of what we're going to teach you today, I want you to get podcast ready. And so first, that means what's your setup? Do you have a professional quality microphone that will give your listeners and your host the quality gift of sound? Do you have a headset that plugs into your computer so that you can go the extra mile to ensure that the sound quality is excellent? And what is it that people see behind you so that it is a favorable reflection of your brand and reputation? So often we think that podcast guesting is all about audio for the mind, audio for the imagination. It's theater of the mind. But more and more people are doing podcasts on YouTube and other video platforms. So you also have to take care with what you look like what the audience is going to see and to make sure that everything is well set up for you to step into your brilliant virtual performance, your brilliant virtual conversation that will create the connection that will create the opportunity for more people to say, wow, you're the one that I want. So get prepared with a proper setup because you know something, sometimes hosts will say, please fill out our guest inquiry form and please confirm before you book that you have a microphone, a headset, and a decent setup, because if you don't have that, we will not book you. Behave and believe as if these opportunities are coming to you tomorrow and be ready for them, because what if some big show was all ready to go and the guest wasn't able to show up and you get a random call from someone saying, you're the one that we want, can you be there in 20 minutes? 20 minutes isn't enough time to get this thing set up. So behave and believe as if these opportunities are coming to you tomorrow so that you can just walk through those doors of opportunity and be brilliant at hello. I cannot tell you how many opportunities I have had to be the person, the player to be named later, who stepped into the breach because some weird thing happened that prevented the main stage person from not being there. And voila, I was able to be there and be brilliant and invite all the welcome results that come from that. That is what I want for you. So please prepare. In case you're curious about what to use in order to be prepared, I reached out to one of my friends, Michael Neely, who has hosted over 400 guests about what microphone he uses. And he recommends the Audio-Technica ATR2100X. Write that down, Audio-Technica ATR2100X. I use a Blue Yeti microphone. Just choose one that feels like a fit for your computer setup and just get on with it. Don't do it ongoing study, but just make a choice based on recommendations of people who know something and get on with it. Now, now that you're prepared, I want to share with you the six step system to podcast dream guest mastery. The first one is to prepare. We've covered part of that. The second one is to position yourself as an expert that a host would want to talk to. The third P is to prioritize the right shows that would be right for your message. Then you go on to, you're going to want to pitch and to make a pitch the host can't resist. Then you're gonna to wanna to consider how you're going to ping pong those listeners back into your world with your irresistible call to action. And why does that matter? because the most essential and most important P of all is to profit as a result of taking your place at the microphone. As I move along, I'm gonna share and elaborate on each of these steps so that you can anchor them and get excited about getting started. I want you to realize and believe that being prepared matters perhaps as much as the message you share. Believe and behave as if this is happening already. Believe and behave as if you've already got 40 podcast guessings, guest spots on your calendar, and this is something that you apply intention and energy toward so that it will come back to you. 
when you're well prepared, you set yourself up to be the host's favorite guest because you wow them at hello. A host is going to want to know who are you and what do you have to bring to the party? And they're all going to say, what is your short bio and how do you want to be introduced? That being the case, do you have 100 words written in the third person that position you as the expert that host can't wait to talk to? Do you have a 50 word version in case they want it to be especially short? This is not intended to be a manifesto that goes on for miles and miles. It's intended to be a short, snappy bio that helps the host appreciate the value that you bring and why the audience will be excited to meet you. So if you're curious about my five-step system based on the best-selling book that I wrote, the Bye Bye Boring Bio 2020 Workbook, that's an Amazon number one bestseller, oh, by the way, the first thing you need to do is decide what kind of a bio you need, whether it's for attracting clients, speaking gigs, or media interviews. Since we're talking about podcast guesting, the kind of bio you need is for media interviews. The second step is to reflect on the who, the how, and the wow. And I'm not talking about you here. I'm talking about your ideal client, the stunning results you bring about for that client, and what sets you apart from everyone else on the planet that does what you do. The third step is to prove your value and impact. What are your credentials? What's your experience? Have you won awards or recognition? Do you have amazing testimonials that speak to the wow that you bring about in a way that words you choose yourself would never rival? And then of course you wanna put some personality in there so that people will actually like you without even having met you. And what do you know, when you have a bio like that, you're ready to open the door. So here's an example from my own life that hopefully will be a model that you can emulate. If you have an image of yourself as a speaker on stage, go ahead and showcase it. If you've written a best-selling book, go ahead and showcase it because some people are visual creatures and they really respond to that. But the words do matter. If all I get is this first paragraph, I've accomplished a lot. Get known, get paid mentor Nancy Jutton transforms speakers, experts, and authors into sought after podcast guests who speak their way to six figures and beyond. You know what? If that's the only sentence I get, I'm happy because it set the stage. Who am I with the title that I've given myself in front of my name? Who my people are, are speakers, experts, and authors. What is the transformation? They become sought after podcast guests who speak their way to six figures and beyond. Bam, bam, bam. Either you like that or you don't, you're reading further or you're not. If you have more room, say what's special and different. I combine my years of public relations agency success, proven online marketing strategies honed since 2009, and my velvet boot of accountability to kick clients into an empowering and sustainable gear of performance and profits. Again, this is not my first rodeo. I've been at it since 2009. I have the credibility of public relations agency success and proven online marketing tactics. And something special and different about me is I bring my velvet boot of accountability to make sure people move to a whole new gear. In addition to being an Amazon number one best-selling author and a consistent content creator, I speak up on 40 or more podcast guest spots every year with my sassy sound bites leading the way. I walk my own talk. Do you walk yours? Put it in your bio. And then in those rare cases where you're allowed to share a link to what it is that you do or how it is that you serve, go ahead and spell it out so it's crystal clear. Her Broadcast Your Brilliance Bootcamp and Raise Your Voice, Make Your Impact Inner Circle are among her favorite ways to serve clients who are serious about getting known and getting paid. If you want to get in touch, there's how you can reach me. What is your call to action? What do you want people to know? Are you working with dabblers who put their feet in and don't really do the work? Or are you working with people who are super serious about welcoming the result that you bring about? Name it and claim it and call it your own and let people know that that's what you are all about because it will either attract them to you or repel them from you. And either way, it's fine because we have to attract more of the right people that we want to serve. All this is useful because you're going to put it into what we call in the podcast guesting world a media one sheet. This is a one sheet of paper that showcases your professional headshot, who you are, what you do, how to get in touch with you, and what's special and cool about you. 
There's so many templates that you can find on Canva. You can hire a graphic designer to do it. And what do you know? I'm going to share one with you today to make this fast and easy. But you want to have a one sheet that's attractive, that reflects well on your brand and reputation, that speaks to the value that you bring. When Bill is on a podcast, his key focus is helping investors of all ages to build emotional and financial wealth, ignore Wall Street, and get on with their lives with timeless money principles. Can you see how a host would be interested in that? And oh, by the way, he's the author of the Coffee House Investors Ground Rules, which has wonderful, wonderful and very credible testimonials from Morningstar and the professor of finance at Santa Clara University. We've got a short bio and here's really where the magic is. What does he like to talk about? The history and evolution of saving for retirement, Bill's financial career and creation of the coffee house investor, the overwhelming response of investors to timeless money principles, et cetera, et cetera. And if you are lucky to be featured in prestigious media logos, media outlets like the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, et cetera, et cetera, go ahead and visually portray them because they have visual impact and wow factor that is also going to reflect well and make you look even more attractive to a potential host. My husband is also um, someone who does a lot of podcast guesting, and his media one sheet is very, very simple. He talks about the financial lessons inspired by movies, television, and song lyrics. He talks about COVID-19 pandemic financial strategies and tactics, how much is enough, and other urgent questions to answer when you want your money to last as long as you do, and the one mistake to avoid in your retirement plan. What's great about his media topics is he's making them timely, newsworthy, and relevant and worth talking about right now, as opposed to being really, really generic. The one mistake to avoid in your retirement plan, doesn't that have you leaning in and wondering, gosh, I don't know, what is the number one mistake? I better tune into that show to see what it's all about. So there are many, many templates that you can avail yourselves to. And what do you know, I'm going to avail you to one in just a moment. But what I want you to consider right now is what it is that you want to talk about. What is the conversation that you want to be a part of? Is it generic and not the least bit memorable? Or is there a result in it that somebody's really excited about? Name and claim a topic that you can't wait to talk about so that you can get known and get paid for that. I mentioned earlier that I wrote this book, The Bye Bye Boring Bio Workbook. My very first edition was 2009. I did the second edition in 2010, and I did the most recent edition in 2020 to make that workbook relevant for virtual speakers who need to function in a pandemic arena. Why do I mention that? Because I came up with this topic, how to transform your boring bio from wallpaper to wow to attract clients now back in 2009. And I have given that same talk in an interview or on a keynote or a breakout session hundreds and hundreds of times since then. I got known for that topic. It helped my star to rise. And if you Google Bye Bye Boring Bio in a Google search, you're going to find there's millions of references that point back to me. If you are struggling with the challenge of your message and how you're going to portray it and whether or not it's any good or if it's lackluster or blockbuster, who are you going to call? Are you calling Ghostbusters or are you calling me? I'm suggesting that you get known for a specific topic that you love to talk about. So when everybody says, who's the solution to that problem, everyone's pointing to you. This is very, very powerful. When you're describing what it is that you talk about, don't make it boring and generic, but put impact in your bullet points. Have them fire with impact. In today's session, I mentioned that you're going to learn the value of being media ready, media savvy, and on message with your media one sheet leading the way. Oh, okay. How to quickly meet podcast guests to be a guest, even if you're brand new to podcast guesting. And the number one consideration you must make before you take your place at the microphone, and it's not what you think. There's intrigue and curiosity and urgency and specificity in these bullet points. I want you to put those same elements in your bullet points so when the host reads them, they don't sound like everybody else, but they sound like a conversation that he can't wait to start and you get to be the person that be, it takes her place or his place at the microphone to have that chat. So if you are excited about getting media ready and media savvy and on message right this very minute, 
I want you to run and not walk to mediaonesheetnow.com because right away, this beautiful template will deliver to your inbox so that you can get this exercise accomplished today. And that's that. You simply put replace the words that are on the example with your own words. And within 20 minutes, you should have a media one sheet that could start opening the door for you to start getting booked on a podcast. So who's here is going to run and not walk to media one sheet now.com. Yes, is the right answer. And if you're feeling generous, remember the rising tide lifts all the boats, go ahead and invite all your friends to download it too. And let's see how many of us can get booked on lots and lots of shows because we're media ready, media ret savvy, and on message. Now, you're, one of the biggest complaints or issues that are uh, comments that I hear from people is, oh, this is going to take so much time. And given all the other plates I'm spinning, I don't know if I can fit this in. Yes, you can. And I'm going to make it easy for you. Did you know that there are podcast matchmaking groups on Facebook that you can join today for $0 and start either finding a guest or being a guest. It's true. It's time to start getting visible and respond to opportunities. And so I'm gonna to offer to you three ways that you can get started today. Again, $0, powerful resources. Number one, I want you to go to Facebook and join the podcast guest collaboration group on Facebook. When I checked this week, there were over 24,000 people making matches there. I was talking to someone earlier today and he said, it's kind of like Tinder for podcast guesting. That made me laugh. But there's 24,000 people there. And if you join the group and start lurking, learning and connecting, you're going to notice which opportunities are right for you and which ones are not right for you. And I'm gonna go into detail about how to make that determination in just a moment. But I want you to run and not walk to that group and join for free. I also want you to join matchmaker.fm and podmatch.com because these resources are podcast guest matchmaking sites. They have their own platforms. And if you've created your media one sheet, you can simply cut, paste, and apply the same information into their online platform, add your own keywords to make you searchable by hosts that are looking for someone like you, and as early as tomorrow, podcast guest opportunities are going to be served up either on your dashboard or in your inbox so that you can respond. How easy does that make this so that you can make this a well-formed habit? I start my morning every day with a cup of coffee, some nice music, and looking at all three of these sites. And my goal is to book myself on two shows a week, come heck or high water, come rain or come shine, because I know that two shows a week is going to bring me to more of the right people that get to benefit from how I help. And that means that I'm going to drive leads, connections, clients, cash, that beautiful music of ka -ching. And I love that. It gives me so much power and control over my destiny. And I think there's never been a more important time for us all to take back that control. I would love for you to commit to yourself. I'm getting my media one sheet done and dialed, and I'm going to join all three of these organ groups right away. And I'm going to start a new habit that's going to set me up to succeed with visibility as my primary strategy. When you're showing up in these environments, I want you to notice things that can help inform your success. Notice what hosts are looking for and how potential guests respond. Then when you're feeling ready, put your own hat in the ring in a conversational relationship building way. Don't say, oh, I'll respond to that in four days. No, respond to it right now, because in four days, that host may have met his or her requirement and you may fall to the bottom of the stack. You must put urgency to this. And I also want you to be careful about dotting your I's and crossing your T's. If the host says, you sound like a great guest, here's my guest submission form, please fulfill it by dotting your I's and crossing your T's, tending to the details and making it as easy as possible for the host to know that you are the guest that's perfect for the role. Because if you don't do it this way, how you do anything is how you do everything. 
And if you schlep it together, like it doesn't matter, it will re be received in that same spirit. So if you really want to be on that show, go the extra mile to fill out the form as specified, and you will be very, very well served. Here's an example here from the podcast guest collaboration site, which at this particular moment in time, when I captured the screenshot, there were just shy of 21,000 members there. Lucy Liu wrote in June, I'm looking to find a guest for my podcast in the area of marketing small business growth, 20 minute audio only, thank you. And then she offers a link to her podcast. And you see here, there's 56 comments. Well, 55 of them were, I'd love to be a guest, let's talk, which says absolutely nothing. My strategy is stand out at hello in the thread as the guest that every host would want to have. And so I'm demonstrating to you how I replied. Congrats on 96 episodes and 41 five-star reviews. I've been binge listening, love episode number 62, and this is why I liked it. Since your focus on the, for this request is on small business owners who need a big lift, would it serve to chat about how to be the podcast dream guest the top host can't wait to book and how to make your bio stand out to attract more of the right opportunities? Here's a little bit about my background, and this part's always good. You can count on me to share out the episodes so you get more downloads, reviews, and super fans of your own brilliant work. I can't wait to see if we're a fit. And then I give her a link to a place on my website that gives her all the assets she needs to, to have in order to promote a great show. So she writes back instantaneously, hi, Nancy, I PM'd you, which means private message, of course. She says, thank you very much for your interest in to be a guest on my show. Your message definitely stood out and I'm excited to chat with you. Fill out this form. And what do you know? I filled out the form and just a week or two later, I was on the show. I showed up as a human being who cared enough about her podcast to listen to it. I posted a five-star review about it. I suggested that I was a perfect fit and why, and I made it easy for her to book me. And when you do this, you will be able to get booked again and again, amen, as well. This is not a fluke, it's a pattern. Here's another one, Patty Farmer. Pitch me, she writes. This is what I'm looking for. I respond right away with a clever story that fit one of these particular categories. She writes back, I'd love to have you as a guest. I'm sending a private message. And what do you know? I was on the show days later. What was even better about this show is Patty and I realized that we had crossed paths maybe 10 years ago and already were familiar with each other's work and we're in each other's orbits, but we had never really had this juicy conversation. Well, when the microphone went silent, she said, oh my God, I've been a fan of your work for so long. We must find ways to do other work together. Let's be joint venture partners. Let's support each other. Let's introduce each other to people that we know. And all of a sudden, the circle of influence gets wider and more exciting because we created a real relationship in that conversation that we had that's living long after the podcast aired. And that is really what I want you to start envisioning, that you will create amazing relationships with hosts where it's not a one night stand, but it's a lasting and mutually satisfying relationship that allows all the stars. This to me is the most intoxicating part of this whole exercise. Now, another thing you're going to want to learn how to do is to deliver your one minute audio pitch so that you can get booked on a podcast. There are clubhouse rooms now where you can actually show up in a clubhouse room and make your pitch, get feedback on your pitch. And if you are a winner delivering your pitch, the people who are running those rooms just might in invite you to be a guest on their show. This actually happened to me. I've been resisting going to Clubhouse. I mean, how many more platforms can we all embrace? But I thought, okay, FOMO is getting the worst of me, fear of missing out. I went ahead and set up my profile. I went and started to dabble and check it out. And I found myself in one of these rooms where people were making pitches. Well, it turned out that the people at the front of the room, the moderators, the hosts, invited me to speak up right away. 
But no, I wasn't comfortable speaking up right away. I wanted to get the lay of the land before I put myself out there. And what I noticed is that if people took their place on the microphone and 60 seconds was starting to tick away, most people were not able to get their message across in 60 seconds or less to impress, impress the, the hosts. After a while, I said to myself, you know what, I think I can do this. And so I asked to be brought up to the stage. And what do you know, they asked me, what's your 60 second pitch? And so I'm gonna tell you what it is and then I'm gonna break it down for you. Um, I think I said something like, when the pandemic hit last March, were you one of the many thousands of speakers who instantly found your calendar immediately blank with zero bookings? Me too. But instead of sitting on my hands or wringing my hands, I decided to roll up my sleeves and I decided to double down on podcast guesting as my number one favorite visibility strategy. And as a direct result of showing up on shows, I was able to, book, to create a revenue rush for my products, programs, and services without leaving my house. And I've since been training thousands of people around the world so they can do that too. If I'm a guest on your show, I'll be able to share some of my ninja strategies and tips so that empowerment can be within everyone's control and we can all get on with it. My name is Nancy Jutton. I'm from getknowngetpaid.com. I think I said something like that. Well, they said it was a mic drop moment and they invited me to be a guest on their show. And that happened just like that because I was believing and behaving as if the wonderful opportunities were coming my way, that my business is worthy of sales beyond expectations, that I'm ready to speak up at a moment's notice in 60 seconds or less to deliver my message. So how can you do that? Number one, start with asking an enrolling question that 90% of your ideal audience would likely say yes to. I work with speakers who wanna speak more and so, when I say, was your calendar wiped clean when the pandemic hit and are you, and I'm feeling the pain, I'm empathizing and inserting myself in the situation with something attention grabbing while positioning myself as a great guest. So you could say, are you, are you a woman 40 and better who's struggling with muffin top and um, a widening waist? Boy, do I understand. I was struggling with that too. And that's when I discovered this powerful method to release weight, weight and inches very quickly, just in time for the holidays. And if I'm a guest on your show, I'll be able to share the three essential strategies you can deploy so you and your listeners can have these same benefits. My name is Susie Weight Loss and I'm at SusieWeightLoss.com. Just like that. So if you take a screenshot of this, you'll see that you'll be able to quickly practice how to make a one minute audio pitch that can get you invited to be on a stage. And I want you to be ready for that at a moment's notice, because you know what, the moment may come tomorrow and I want you to be ready. The next step in the process, once you've prepared, you've positioned yourself, you've prioritized the shows that are right for you is to further prioritize. And Bill Schulteis is one of my clients. He's a very successful financial advisor. He has over $800 million in assets under management. And he wants to be on the shows where his ideal clients are paying attention. Doctors and surgeons are excellent clients for him. So he reaches up to bigger shows like the White Coast Investor, Morningstar, The Long View, investors who care about where their money goes are listening to that. And what do you know? They're listening to Bill Schulteis too. And The Rational Reminder, another big show that has featured Bill on, on the air. The podcast guest collaboration sites, the podcast matchmaking sites, I like to refer to those as picking the low-hanging fruit and getting in the game. But once you've got your reps in and are feeling confident about delivering your message, that's when it's time to start reaching up to the bigger shows. So that means paying attention to find those shows and finding the right person at the show to make a pitch so that you can suggest yourself as someone they can't wait to talk to. Um, I realize that reaching up to the bigger shows may be more content than I can possibly cover in the time that we're here today. But if you have specific questions, you can always reach out to me. My name is Nancy Jutton. My email is nancy at getknowngetpaid.com. 
So the next important part of this process is to ping pong listeners back into your world. And that's where you want to have an irresistible call to action so that when someone says, Mary, what a great thing you've done here on the show, loved everything you said, what is the next best thing that our listeners can do to take a step in your direction? I want you to offer one singular call to action so that you can deliver it with conviction and invite people to take that step. It could be something like, if you know that now's the time to get media ready, media savvy and on message, my invitation today is for you to go to mediaonesheetnow.com to download the Media One Sheet gift template that will make it fast and easy for you to start swinging open those doors to opportunity. Media, O-N-E-S-H-E-E-T.com, mediaonesheetnow.com. Come on over, can't wait to see you there. What is it that you're going to say? My husband, as I mentioned, is a financial advisor, and his number one call to action is to schedule a get acquainted session. He also has, there's many other things he could say. He has a, how much money do I need to retire quiz that you can take? He can say, give me a call. Or he can say, if you are worried about outliving your money in retirement, go to do not outlive your money.com for a special report that shows you exactly how you cannot outlive your money in retirement. There's a lot of good things going on here. If you have an opportunity to hear Steve Jutton speak on a podcast, his calm demeanor and his ability to translate complex ideas into simple concepts that you can act upon to ensure your abundant retirement is a, a answer to a prayer. If you listen to him, you're thinking, I want to talk to him directly. So if he says, if you like what you've heard today and feel like I could be your guy to help you plan for that abundant retirement, let's schedule a get acquainted session. Visit my website. We'll get it on the calendar. He's able to convert 80% of those get acquainted sessions into ongoing clients because he's over the last 20 years become a master of new client enrollment. If you're really good at that, ask for a new a get acquainted session or a discovery session. The beautiful thing about having a quiz is it helps your client or potential client get present to a gap that may exist in their life or work that is urgent enough for them to want to bridge as soon as possible with urgency at the feet of your expertise. And if you have a gift that you can offer that people actually have to give you their name and email address in order to receive, all the better because then you own those email addresses and you have permission to nurture those leads to turn into conversations that can turn into cash. <coughs> Excuse me. In my husband's case, the do not outlive your money.com report is waiting for you at do not outlive your money.com. And here's what he says here. Are you worried you might outlive your money in retirement? That's the problem. If you're within five to 10 years of retirement from your career job, check out this free report take, packed with eight tips to make sure you don't. He's identifying who his ideal client is. He's letting you know what it looks like. And if you want it, you can click here to go get it. An opt-in page doesn't have to be complicated. It just has to say what the problem is and who it's for and make it interesting enough for people to want to get it. If you are someone who needs to have a recommended resource so that you can create your own amazing lead pages without knowing code or having to be technologically savvy. This resource I love to recommend is Lead Pages. I've been a client of theirs since 2014. And if you would like to start a free trial to see what the fuss is about, go ahead and take a picture of this screen and you will have a page that you can jump to so that you can try Lead Pages for free. I love lead pages because in minutes I can have a lead page that's converting so that I can have new leads that I can nurture to become clients without having to know any code. And I'm not technologically, that's not my favorite thing. And if it's not your favorite thing, just run and don't walk to lead pages. So coming back to your favorite way to serve, what is it? And imagine and lean into the possibility then when the right number of people say yes to your favorite way to serve, you get to profit and you get to love your life and your work. And you do this by speaking up on podcasts and broadcasts and virtual stages and doing so with heart, smart, moxie, intention, conviction, 
and a desire to serve at the highest possible level. If you want to speak up on more shows, I always do a nod to Jack Canfield, who wrote the book, The Success Principles, How to Get from Where You Are to Where You Want to Be. He says, take five inspired actions every day to advance towards your biggest goal. Even the biggest tree in the forest will come down if you take five swipes of an ax at it every single day. Be consistent, be persistent, aim high for the bigger shows, follow up and invite introductions when the microphone goes silent. Invite opportunities when the microphone goes silent. Create deepened relationships when the microphone goes silent. Because when these things are all in play, momentum starts to build. And all of a sudden, instead of you pushing out pitches, you're starting to get invited to play in, with cooler kids and having the, your voice raised to new audiences and new rooms where you could get to play, where you're dealing with more and more of the right people who can wisely invest to do business with you. Please believe and behave as if the most important opportunities are coming to you tomorrow. Believe that the offers that you bring to the market are worthy of sales beyond expectations and make the decision today to get ready for those opportunities before they knock because you will get to walk through opportunities and leapfrog over other people far less prepared to take your worthy place at the microphone to deliver your message in the way that only you can. Be an extraordinary guest and co-collaborator in ways that astound, delight, and surprise. I always like to tell this story. It's very memorable in my own life. But I remember being on a lounge chair in sunny San Diego, taking a day off from the workaday world. All I wanted to do was read my Oprah magazine and drink my mint-infused iced tea and say, Calgon, take me away. I paused for refreshment when the phone rang, and it was Mary Price at National Public Radio. I jump out of my chair like a jack in the box. Hi, Mary, what can I do for you? She says, we had a guest scheduled for National Public Radio tomorrow at nine o'clock. She was supposed to talk about how to build your expert status and she's been delayed and won't be able to join us. Can you step in? I saw your website online. You look exactly like what we're looking for. Can you make it? Yes, I can. And you know what, Mary? In a matter of seconds, you will have my brief bio written in the third person. You will have my headshot, professional one. You will have the image of the front cover of the Bye Bye Boring Bio workbook. And you'll also have the five questions that I love to be asked when I'm interviewed in such a beautiful way. What else can I do to make this a fabulous experience for you as the producer and of great value to the national audience? And then there was this long pause. And she says with a laugh, will you please teach the world to do what you just did? And so here I am doing exactly that. I have leapfrogged over other people far more famous with bigger names because I decided I was going to be ready for media opportunity. I wasn't expecting a call from National Public Radio sitting on a lounge chair in my bathing suit. I was just expecting for Calgon to take me away. And as it happens, NPR took me to a whole new level of awareness that led to spin-off engagements for me to speak again and again, amen. Do you want what I'm having? So create a sassy topic that you can get known for and build an audience around so you get to be that person. Don't just fall into speaker, author, snooze, you lose disease. Differentiate yourself in a way that has you stand out at hello. Morgana Ray is now the remarkably different, disarming, and powerful relationship with money keynote speaker. That's a whole lot better than author, speaker, coach, snooze, you lose. So here's my question. How much do you want to speak up on podcasts and broadcasts and to make visibility your number one lead generation strategy? This is my velvet boot coming to get you. I am daring you to step up. That means deciding that this is going to be your new favorite way to play. That means asking for the gigs, applying for the opportunities, and always aiming high beyond the low-hanging fruit. I want you to resist the temptation to quit because not everyone will say yes, but if you keep at it, you'll get plenty of yeses and you will be raising your voice and making your impact. And I want you to execute because if you do nothing, 
nothing will happen. And that will be a horrible disservice to what it is that you're here to do and the difference you're here to make. I want you to want your result enough to make it happen. Get outside of your comfort zone and go where the magic is. Because when you reach up to the bigger shows and you show up on those bigger shows and your voice carries to new audiences that you never ever had the opportunity to meet before, who you become in that process is a whole new and improved and more influential person than you ever dreamed you could be. Don't delay when this outcome can be yours. Do it now. Tomorrow is not a promise. Because you can say, oh, I'm going to get ready to get ready and I'm going to get to that someday. Or you can get on with it now and see what wonderful outcomes can result. My invitation is for you to drop out of the getting ready to get ready club and to start getting in the game now. Podcast hosts are waiting to hear from you today. I want you to get media ready, media savvy, and on message to welcome the results that you desire. So that being said, I want you to know that I am the leader of the Broadcast Your Brilliance Bootcamp, and we're starting again in February of 2022 for 12 action-packed weeks where you are going to book yourself on four to 12 podcasts or more and ping pong people back into your world so you can profit. If you have loved what I've shared today and you know you need more support with the implementation and the velvet boot of accountability to make sure that you stay in action to get the results that you came for and a whole lot more, and you want to be part of an amazing community of people who are lifting each other up as we climb and opening doors for each other, I invite you to take a look at what this course is all about. It's live, it's amazing, it's engaged, and it is on fire with people making it happen every day. And I would be honored to have the opportunity to have you come along for the next session. And if you love what we've talked about and you know that we should be talking further, I, I wanna talk to you about that too. And so I wanna make it easy for you. I'm just scrolling through these testimonials. Apply for a consult with me. Go to this page, getknowngetpaid.com and hit forward slash apply. And you can tell me a little bit about where you are in your podcast and guest speaking journey, where you're intending to go, where you're getting stuck and what level of urgency you have to make this a reality for yourself in your business so that you can benefit. I hope that you got great value from this content that I've shared with you today. I hope that your eyes are wide open to a whole new way that you can show up, speak up, share your message and attract the outcomes that you so richly deserve. The rest of it's up to you. Will you make this a well-formed habit? Will you join a community of people who are like-minded who wanna do this together? And will you be one of the people that is saying, thank you, Nancy, I booked myself on dozens and dozens of shows. You taught me how to fish, so I'm never hungry. I will never forget you. I will always appreciate you. You opened a whole new world for me. And I'll be forever grateful. This is my legacy work. This is what I'm here to do. And if I'm your teacher, you know it. And if I'm not, well, you know that too. For those in the first camp, I look forward to hearing from you. And I thank you so much for being part of this amazing experience that we put together. And I look forward to seeing what next happens for all of us. Bye-bye for now.